In the blessed month of Ramadan, my dear brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, many of us, we take benefit. Many of us utilize our time. Many of us utilize our efforts. And we attain, inshallah, bi'ibnillah, some reward from Allah Azza wa Jal for the fasting that we're doing in this blessed month. And I just want to speak to you about one particular hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is something which affects many, many Muslims sadly today. And the hadith is about fasting. And the hadith says, مَن لَمْ يَدَعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ فِي أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَمَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ So the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, مَن لَمْ يَدَعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ That Allah, is, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that the one who does not abandon evil in speech and actions, فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ That Allah is not needy فِي أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَمَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Allah is not needy for this person to leave his food and drink. And sadly, my dear brothers and sisters, think about it. This is the situation, sadly, for many of us. That yes, we may be fasting, abstaining from eating and drinking. But in our speech, in our actions, in our behavior, we are behaving and disobeying Allah. We are not behaving in the appropriate manner. And all we are acquiring from this fast is just hunger and thirst. And this is not what fasting is about. For us, many of us, we grew up. And for many of us, we thought fasting was only abstaining from food and drink. But rather, fasting is much more than that. You should be fasting with our eyes. We should be fasting with our hands. We should be fasting with our hearts. We should be fasting with our limbs. We should be fasting with our whole bodies. It's not just about abstaining from food and drink, because anybody can do that. But rather, the true fast is the one in which is in obedience to Allah So not only are we abstaining from uh, the food and the drink, but we should be abstaining from our desires. We should be careful in our speech and actions. Because many, many Muslims today, sadly, uh, while they are fasting, we hear disgusting behavior, we hear disgusting words coming out of their mouth, we hear backbiting, we hear slander, we hear swearing. And these things which are only going to negate the fast and decrease the reward and make you lose uh, any sort of reward that you were going to get. So my dear brothers and sisters, just before, a little while ago we were in the park and there was uh, some Muslim brothers and you know they were talking very loud and they were saying how and the words used was, I, you know, I'm just wasting my time. And this is what the, the brother he was saying. He goes, I'm just hanging around in the car park, wasting time because the fast is so long. My dear brothers and sisters, the month of Ramadan is a time in which we should be utilizing it in our speech and our actions. Because if we have evil in our speech and our actions, if we are disobeying Allah Azza wa Jal, then Allah is not needy for us to be hungry and thirsty. Allah is not in need of our hunger and thirst. Rather, we are in need of His mercy. We are in need of His forgiveness. We are in need of the reward which awaits if we fast properly. Because the hadith also mentions Man Sama Ramadan, Iman and Wahtisaban, Wufiya Lahuma Taqadama min Dambih, that the one who fasts in Ramadan with uh, belief, Iman, Wahtisab, and seeking the reward only from Allah Azza wa Jal, Wufiya Lahuma Taqadama min Dambih, Allah Azza wa Jal will forgive all of his sins. And if we want our sins to be forgiven, then we need to be careful in our speech and our actions. Because the hadith clearly states, as I mentioned before, Man Lam Yada Qawla Zur wal Amala Bihi, that the one who does not abstain and leave the evil speech and the evil, action, evil actions. فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ فِي أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Allah Azza wa Jal, رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The Lord of the heavens and the earth is not in need of our hunger and thirst. My dear brothers and sisters, in this month of Ramadan, with what is left of it, let us use our time, let us use our speech, let us use our actions in speaking good words, in behaving in a good way, and removing all forms of evil from our life. Because this is the only way the fast, the fast of Ramadan will have meaning and will bring the reward. May Allah Azza wa Jal purify our speech and actions in this blessed month of Ramadan. And may Allah Azza wa Jal accept our fasting and all the ibadah that we are doing this month. Wassalamu alaikum.